The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. The first chart we're going to look at, of course, is the FTSE. Then we're going to look at the German DAX. You can see both of those are in downtrends. They're both making uh, Gartley's, the FTSE, and in fact, is making a beautiful 135 pattern. You know, absolutely uh, perfect. I just uh, just can't look at it any better than that. Now, also, today our guest is going to be Tim Bost. Uh, and I, I know we always have a good show with him. He's going to be talking to us about the cryptos and with his beautiful charts on the uh, uh, Bitcoin and stuff. So that'll be fun. That'll be at the half hour break. OK, now I wanted to do a couple others that I think are relatively important. We had a, a couple inquiries about a few stocks that have been in the news lately. And I'll bring these up to let you look at it. And uh, hold on one second. We'll get this up here. And the first stock is we're going to look at is MULN. Uh, this stock has had a huge correction, as you can see, where we were at the top up. And here we were making this beautiful butterfly pattern. And, of course, the market had a sell-off. And our, our friend here uh, was able to buy this. Tyler was able to buy this down in this area. And he asked the question, you know, what he should expect. Well, when you're looking at a long-term daily, this went from 16 down to 50 cents. The first thing you got to do is scale down the size so that you're able to see it better. So all I did here was to take the 60-minute uh, chart because that you can you know manage your risk a little bit better. And so I put that on here, and it shows a beautiful you know A B C D here. We're actually above it right now. We have another smaller one right in here. Uh, you can see uh, this little mouse is hard to find. There's a there's A B. Uh, C and D. I, I don't know. If, can you folks see the big mouse on here, my cursor mouse? I, I'd like to know if I can or not because I'm, I'm only seeing a really tiny little uh, little mouse, but I guess that, that, that doesn't make any difference. But anyway, he's got a nice profit in that. And what I suggested was, you know, raise your stop to, you know, so you're locking in at least 20%. And uh, that's about the best you can do. So I, I don't know any anything better to do with that. Now we have another one that was uh, brought to us by uh, uh, Simon over in uh, the UK, and he had a question about the Planeteer. If you remember, one of the stocks that we were looking at during this. Oh no 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 no! Don't don't tell me I lost my Discord. Please don't tell me that. Give me. Oh dear, I'm going to have to take a little refresher course on how to not uh, knock things out of the park here. So hold on just a second here. There's Planeteer. I'm all right. There's no reason to panic. <laughs> okay. You see, we had the beautiful ABCD at the 382 with Planeteer. We came down. This was a 1.27 ABCD right on the bottom. And uh, he was buying it down at that bottom. And so all I wanted to do was to walk you through what he was doing and show you how you can move from one time frame to another and uh, actually uh, see how these things are, are working. So the next one we're going to look at, of course, would be Planeteer on a little bit shorter time frame, like maybe 30 minutes, looking at that bottom. And if we get this up here, because these patterns work on anything, folks. That's what Mandelbot proved in his you know thesis and book about fractals you know he said that it's basically there's a seed pattern and that seed pattern is a b equals c d that's also proven by gartley in his book on page 249 and uh that was a book was for what fifteen hundred dollars in 1937, which was the cost of three Ford automobiles. Now, if you you'll notice here that we have a perfect A B C D Gartley. You can see it in yellow, right there. That is a ten. That was it right on the 15th when we had uh, the, the Chinese market came out and said they're going to stop it from going down, and that was the rally. And you can see it measures up here to 1360 and change. And you can see we're really close to it right now. So that is the price objective. And when you buy it down here, folks, that's a 30% move in three days. 
And you don't get that very often. So let's keep that in mind. That, you know, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And when you have a, a big move in this, what you want to be doing is raising your stop up, you know, so that you lock in some profit because you don't know which one, which, how much higher it's going to go. That's uh, only God knows that. And as I've said many times, she doesn't trade that often. Okay, now we got a couple others that I think you'll have a little bit of an interest in. And one of them will get this uh, chart up here in one second. Uh, someone asked about the grain markets. I want to show you this, uh, what's been happening in the grain markets. If you like, if you like uh, ABCDs and Fibonacci, you're going to really like this next chart, which is one of Mr. Z's favorite. Go live. By the way, one of Mr. Z's friends came into Tucson, uh, Bob and his lovely wife, Christine, and we had a nice lunch at Guadalajara. Our favorite Mexican restaurant here, and boy, he he kept telling me how much he loved TFNN and, and Mr. Z and everything, and it was really a fun day. But on oh, this, you can see the perfect ABCD up there, folks, about 35 cents higher, and as you can see, it's broken quite a bit today. In fact, it's getting ready to take out the uh, point two there which would tell you you have a possibility of a pretty good uh, down move. It has to hold right where it is right now, or it is going to go down you know, a great deal. So that's uh, another one that looks pretty good. The corn looks pretty much similar, but not nearly as bearish as the meal and also the uh, oil, soybean oil and also the soybeans themselves. So, And this is in the face of some really bullish news, as we all know, that everybody in the whole world is uh, you know talking about there's never going to be any more wheat and there's never going to be any so and that might be true, but right now that is not the way that it's looking. So let's uh, let's watch that as we walk through here. Okay, now what I want to look at here in the next one is very interesting chart we got here from uh, J C Parrot and his friends over at All Star Charts and th this is a really interesting one because it tells you where where the money is flowing in these things and I think that. Uh, I think you'll have an interest in this one. This shows that the most more people are moving into stocks and bonds. You can see that ratio there. We're almost ready to break it out. And, and when you stop and think what's happening with interest rates rising, boy, I don't know how much higher they think these bonds are going to go. But boy, one of the most bearish charts we've got is the Treasury bonds, folks. And maybe it'll change. But uh, this thing has been bearish for a very, very long time, and I don't see any reason why it's going to change, but, you know, it could. And uh, with people heavily involved in one side of the market, then uh, maybe something will happen. I don't know. But we've had a tremendous – look at what – you can see what's happened to TLT. I mean, the market has just absolutely melted down. And uh, that's an interesting one in itself. So just be really careful up here in all these markets, folks, because we do have a situation where we've got a lot of things happening that could be a little bit troublesome down the road. So let's remind ourselves uh, that uh, it's very, very important. Now, we're going to have a break coming up. And I've had a question about uh, intraday trading and stuff like that. So I, I will try <clears throat> I will try to cover that. I know I can cover it, but hold on one second. <clears throat> I will be able to do that in just a minute, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be back here with you here. Hold on just a second here, folks. We'll be back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I'm going to post a chart here, the eight-minute chart on a uh, crude oil. I use usually eight-minute charts. Uh, four minutes are great, too, but, you know, it's a little too too uh, choppy for me, so I look at an eight-minute chart. What we're looking at here is a three-drive pattern. You can see drive one here, drive two here, and drive three right there. That's perfect, okay? And you also have the perfect A, B right here, which is your third spot. You come down to point C, which is right there, and then you go up to the right there. That that you're trading a contract that's worth one hundred thirty thousand, one hundred ten thousand dollars, you know, which is a you know great deal of money. So what you could do is you could trade that by you know using a smaller time frame like what I'm doing here. So I could use a thirty point or fifty point stop, which is three hundred to five hundred dollars. They also have an e mini contract. I understand it trades just as good as the larger ones. And so that's only half size, so that makes it really easy. But once that's done, you'll notice after the ABCD has hit, the market drops down rapidly, okay? And then it comes down and makes a lower bottom there. And now what you're watching here it's a potential here that you have three higher bottoms in a up market. So that makes this a possibility of a pretty good buy signal. Even though you've made some nice on the short side, you have two choices. You have to assume that it's going to go below, below here, which would be really bearish, or it holds at the 786 right here. Well, remember, folks, you're trading an eight-minute chart. I mean, you're not you're not looking at a weekly, daily, or monthly. And you got to realize that if you've made fifteen hundred dollars like this one would have made, you know, you got to say, well, what should I do here? We well, an eight-minute chart. I don't think you have to be a rocket science to say, yeah, I think that's what I got to do is take profits. So that's what I'm doing. I watch these because eight minutes gives you some pretty good choices during the day and that's the whole key of this is to uh, try to do the best you can uh, and make a few bucks now we're going to take a look one for we're going to go from an eight minute chart folks all the way down to a monthly chart on something that is really exciting going on here and that is in the japanese yen the dollar yen folks and you'll notice here that the dollar has been uh, quite uh, powerful. But we are we are setting up here at 120 now in the uh, in the yen dollar, and this is at the 786, and that's a long-term trend line going way back here, 20 years ago. So if we get above 121, this thing could make a huge ABCD and possibly a double top up there. 
that we made, uh, you know, t two decades ago. So this is not a trading situation here. This is nothing more than what we're looking at is a spot where it may or may not hold without, uh, you know, without too much trouble. So let's uh, pay close attention to that one. Fact is, uh, I, 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 I nibbled at the short side on the, uh, the 786 on the week, uh, Oh, excuse me, on the daily, and uh, we took a 30 pip loss on that one when it was trading at 117 and change. And I, I really was just ready to pull the trigger on the long side, but I said, ah, let's look at something else, and that's what we've been able to do. So uh, the next one I'm going to show you uh, may or may not uh, mean anything, but we're going to show it to you anyway. And hopefully, oh dear, I've lost one of them. No, I haven't either. Just a second, we're going to be able to write. Look at this. Right here, okay. This is uh, this is what we're looking. What we were watching yesterday. As a matter of fact, I believe when we were on the air, I'm pretty sure we were. Get this one up here and take a quick look at it. Well, and all right, you'll see here. This is the possibility what we're looking at in the uh, Dow Dow E mini, you know, making an ABCD up here at this level of six one eight. And we mentioned that if it gets to that point, I said a video on that. I said that's going to be a, a very, very interesting one because that is Mother God and Country, folks. That is a perfect Gartley pattern at a 618. And whether that works or not, I am not sure. But all I know is I can surely control my risk with that one. So what we're looking at here is a market. And this is what I sent out just a second ago. well I sent it out last night and uh, several times before it got to that level but you know that we went up and we hit the exact number folks we went uh, th we went uh, 30 cents $150 higher on the Dow e mini it now has a uh, hundred and some point profit but that don't mean anything so my uh, assumption was that if we get above this high by more than 10 pips you should take a $200 loss and just move on because that has everything that you could possibly ask for. It's only backed off about 200 points from that high. The thing is, it has not made a new high yet today, whereas the uh, S&P did and so did the NASDAQ during that emotional run of, after the news came out on some economic report. But this is a, a perfect Gartley that uh, it, it has everything. That is a perfect ABCD, folks, and it's a perfect 618 off of that high that we just made right back here. So that's it. And if you looked at it, uh, you know, from a really, really long po point standpoint, going back into uh, July, into January, you know, we haven't even uh, been able to make a 382 uh, off of uh, that one. So I think that we need to uh, remind ourselves of that, whether it's going to be uh, up or down. So there's what we have with the S&P and hopefully you know, maybe this trade will work, maybe it won't. It's not necessary to ask yourself whether it's going to be the case. I do have to talk to you here about the crude oil a little bit because we've had a big move here in crude, and I wanted to bring this to your attention. I haven't updated this yet, but I wanted to bring this to your attention yesterday, and I ran out of time. You'll notice, folks, we had a possibility. We had a, a big high up here, make it made it 130. Then we came down, we rallied up to the 382, and that was around 17. And then we come down, and we're looking, is still looking at a price of roughly $90, $91 a barrel. We got to 92, and I don't know whether that is going to complete that or not. But I assume since we've got up here to 103 today, that should be a pretty significant top here between 103 and 104 in the crude oil. Because if we start getting about 106, 107, uh, that's signifying that this oil market is not done. The good part is gas is going to be coming down here in the uh, market here for to fill up your tanks and stuff in these next few weeks. If they pass this along, usually uh, when they refill those things at the uh, – gasoline pumps they still uh, allow another 20 cents because they've got people worried about it and so it keeps the prices higher than what you would uh, think they would be so now the other one that we talk about in here is uh the gold market and i wanted to get this up here to take a look at it for us we'll have tim on pretty soon which is a real blessing in disguise here Here's that long-term picture of gold. Uh, we had a bottom down here exactly at the 61% retracement. We had a $50 rally. Uh, I sent out the video last night, you know, buy that retracement when we get it at 382, which was at 1928. 
And uh, so we bought it today at 1928. Now we've got to stop at uh, 1922. And that, you know, so a $6 risk on something that uh, usually is, you know, here again, you're talking about a contract that's worth uh, substantially uh, almost $200,000, and yet you're able to trade it with a $6 stop of $600. That That's really uh, that's about as good as you could get. Well, I think the clock on the wall is telling us that we're going to have Tim Boss coming up shortly. So I certainly know you're going to enjoy it because uh, he is really an entertaining and, and he's a great astrologer. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I have one of our favorite guests from Sarasota, Florida, <laughs> none other than Stan Harley. I'm just joking. It's Tim Boss. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a family joke well, between you're one Tim of my and I. Host, Jim <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a family this? joke, folks. Uh, Tim, Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, how are you doing today? 
Well, we're doing uh, rocking and rolling over here, having lots of fun. <laughs> right, <laughs> we've got some, we got some volatility. You want to? We'll start out with your market market moving astro events. You want to start there? Absolutely. Yeah. Let's let's take a look at these uh, uh, market moving events because we do have a couple of them coming up here uh, that we believe can have a sizable impact uh, on on the market uh, dynamics, and so that's why we're interested in in uh, taking a, a look at them here. Uh, so uh, what we're uh, looking at uh, first of all is uh, coming up uh, actually on Sunday uh, we have the uh, Aries Equinox uh, and uh, we'll talk about that in a moment then coming up on Wednesday the 23rd uh, a very very significant event a, tr a direct station by the trans-Neptunian factor uh, Hades uh, so these two combined uh, have a very interesting influence uh, on market dynamics uh, both of them are very very powerful let's take a look first of all, at this uh, Aries Equinox event, uh, because uh, we've got a slide there that uh, indicates what's going on with this. We, we know this in the Northern Hemisphere as the first day of spring in common parlance, uh, but of course, if we're uh, down under in Australia, New Zealand, uh, uh, South Africa, it is the first day of, of uh, autumn, the first day of fall. Uh, and so we call it the Aries equinox rather than the uh, spring equinox or the autumn equinox, uh, just to be clear about that. Uh, it it uh, is the sun moving into the sign of Aries in the tropical zodiac. Uh, and because that's the fact, uh, and the zodiac uh, uh, begins with the sign of Aries, we sometimes refer to this as the uh, astrological or zodiacal new year that kind of begins a new annual uh, cycle. And in fact, some astrologers celebrate this as International Astrology Day because of its uh, significance wow. in, in that. Uh, uh, respect as well uh, but this turns out to be a pretty important point in terms of potential uh, really for all markets uh, and because of that fact it got a lot of attention from WD Gann uh, in his work he paid a lot of attention uh, to these uh, economical and uh, solstice points uh, in in the zodiac uh, as key times uh, when uh, we could get uh, in indications there of a potential market points for other things as well. We've been doing a lot of work with uh, GAN lately and have come out with a whole new uh, GAN training program in uh, correlating price exciting stuff there. At any rate, let's take a look at this 90 degree dial uh, pattern here that we've got uh, with this uh, particular uh, configuration. Uh, you know, uh, every uh, uh, Aries equinox, the sun uh, is at zero degrees of Aries, and our little red pointer at the top is that zero Aries point. We see the little circle with the sun, uh, dot in the middle of it. That's the sun. So this shows up uh, every single time we get one of these. What's different, though, are the other planetary positions in correspondence with that. So we want to take a quick uh, look here at the things that make this one distinct and a little major global events going on, lots of volatility in the markets, lots of chaos, and so the more we can understand what's behind the scenes here, uh, the better we can get a, a, gr a grip on it and then uh, trade it effectively. Uh, first and foremost, we see that uh, Aries is lined up in an eighth harmonic dynamic here, or, or the Sun, rather, is lined up in an eighth harmonic dynamic uh, with the trans-Neptunian Poseidon, uh, and this is a very interesting combination uh, because the Sun is all about physical uh, uh, bodies and, and the, the human forms so to speak. Poseidon is about things that are spiritual and high-minded and very, very uh, and kind of out there. And so we talk about this as the spiritualization of the physical body. In other words, uh, this is the act of dying. <laughs> and so you, know, you, you oh, get rid wow. of the physical body and you turn into a ghost, so to speak. And there's a lot of that going on right now, unfortunately, but that seems to be one of the major motifs uh, of, of this particular uh, Aries uh, equinox, of so this particular configuration. We also get a Jupiter-Chiron dynamic, uh, the midpoint being triggered here, and the uh, Chiron is indicative of major problems of one sort or another. Jupiter, however, promises good results. So we got sticky situations, things that are really, really hard to deal with, uh, geopolitically, in the markets, personal lives, you name it, uh, but uh, the promise here is that things... Uh, uh, can get better. It does, in uh, fact, though, involve engaging with the problems. We don't uh, just pretend they're not there and, and hope they go away. We've got to kind of tackle them and, and work with that. So that's a big piece of it as well as the mercury Kronos dynamic. Uh, Kronos is uh, authority, the, the, the top of the top, the, uh, the CEO, the big cheese, the head of the government, <laughs> so to speak. Mercury, of course, is communications, and so authoritative communications, uh, giving orders, but also 
uh, that uh, kind of high-minded thinking, taking things to a new level is very, very important. Uh, certainly, we need a lot more of that in, in world affairs, but especially for us as traders, we need to be constantly thinking about the big picture, the longer term here. There's lots of volatility, lots of trading opportunities, lots of opportunities to get caught up in the chop as well and get chewed to death. So we want to be careful about that, uh, take that broader perspective. Then the Pluto Admetos dynamic that's emphasized right now is about uh, profound changes in core structures. We're going to see things reshaping in radically new ways. That kind of goes without saying uh, as we uh, you know, demolish uh, countries and, and uh, upset populations and uh, all kinds of things are going on on a global scale. But this is really about those radical uh, transformations obliging us to kind of get back to basics. Uh, what's actually important in terms of human society, what's important in terms of the markets, uh, a big, big emphasis here on raw materials. Pay attention uh, to uh, supply chain dynamics and especially uh, the availability of raw materials for key processes along the way. It's going to get a lot of emphasis, especially over the next three months here. Then finally, we're looking at the node Apollon dynamic, which is all about uh, making new connections and expanding things far and wide, connecting with new people. And the implication here is that people who are free to engage in come to a great benefit huge emphasis right now on sanctions and restrictions and what gets shut down, what gets boycotted. We want to look at the other side of the coin. What you know, gets uh, uh, emphasized here? What are the opportunities uh, with this? So that's kind of the overall picture. Uh, when we look at it in terms of the market dynamics, we've got a little backtesting chart here with the S&P that shows uh, the Aries Equinox. And this is the average response. This is 30 days prior to this. Uh, we have that kind of choppy uh, pattern uh, going on. Certainly some volatility, big swings in the markets. We've been seeing a lot of that. And then a couple of days after the equinox itself, the equinox is that zero point right in the middle, uh, we get uh, a little bit of a pullback and then that possibility of a strong swing upward. Uh, we've back-tested this, studied it, and we believe the optimum trade here would be to take a long position in the S&P on Wednesday of this coming week. Equinox, and then hold that till the 1st of uh, April. Uh, so a, a swing trade there, about uh, uh, ten, 10 days or so, uh, calendar days, uh, has a 69% uh, probability of, of, of being a favorable trade. Uh, the anticipated ROI is only one half percent, but that's not, not too shabby for a swing trade like that. Wow, that's the, really some great charts. We've got to take a break here. Uh, to pay a few bills, too, but you'll stay with us for another section. Absolutely. Especially, sure. I want to spend some time on the Bitcoin because those charts to me were uh, just quite revealing. And you've had this market pretty much nailed by these sport and resistance points that you're looking at. So we'll be right back with Tim we'll Boss. It's Financial Cycles Weekly, folks. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Folks, with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, and we have a question, Tim, for you, if you don't mind. Do you use the Bradley model in any of your forecasts? We do look at the at the Bradley uh, model, uh, but it's not the main basis of our forecasting. It's a good okay. uh, long-range projection uh, based on the work of Donald uh, Bradley back in the 1940s uh, with his uh, correlations of uh, stock market uh, cycles uh, with planetary alignments. Uh, it's, a, it's a great uh, starting point uh, to, to look at things, but what we find is that it often inverts. Uh, so we, we can get the, uh, the, uh, the pacing of the swings, but sometimes it'll suggest a, a, a high that's actually a low and vice versa uh, so we have to be a little bit careful with that indicator okay we have one other question can you explain a little bit more about this is coming from india from uh, mumbai mm -hmm. and if you would be so kind enough to tell us what your gan course entails and how much does it cost We've got a, a, a great new GAN course. We're actually calling it uh, the Super Trading Time Machine because it's all about uh, the correlation of price and uh, time. Uh, and uh, we, uh, it involves uh, a number of lessons examining the nature of time itself, uh, kind of branching off from GAN's work. It's, uh, we use him as an inspiration and then try to figure out exactly what he was doing. Uh, and then we in investigate the dynamics of price as well. And then the correlation between the two which, as far as we can determine, is largely based on astrological work and, and uh, do a lot of work with planetary price lines as astrological tools that uh, coordinate uh, price and uh, time. Uh, so we'll be uh, doing actually a special webinar uh, tomorrow on this, and you can get all the pricing information and uh, all the details about the course uh, then. Oh, and uh, we'll have a link at the end of our time together. You just sign up for that, and we'll get you connected. Okay. Continue on, please. That's great information. Thanks Surely. a lot. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're really intrigued with the GAN work, and it's very, very exciting mm -hmm. stuff. We've been looking here at the Aries Equinox uh, impact on the S&P, and we're noting that uh, shortly after the date, which is uh, coming up on Sunday, uh, we expect a nice uh, potential for a rally there uh, in uh, the uh, equities uh, markets. Uh, next, we have a notation here about the nature of Hades. Remember, we said at the beginning that we've got this Hades direct station coming up on next Wednesday, the 23rd. This is one of our trans-Neptunian factors way out and beyond the orbit of Pluto there. Uh, it moves very, very slowly, but we do track things like the direct and retrograde stations. One of those is coming up on March 23rd. What that means is 
Hades is, is slowing down even more so, which means its impact lingers. And the nature of Hades is to bring out the worst of the worst in any situation. So we're watching this especially because of uh, the uh, direction that global events have been taking uh, with the uh, uh, open hostilities, uh, the big losses of life, uh, and a lot of the disruptions that have been occurring uh, in the commercial dynamics uh, as a result of that as, as well. Uh, we did do some back testing with the S&P with Hades stations. This is very interesting here. We wanted to show you this right quick because uh, it's a very close correlation with what we saw with the uh, equinox, uh, the, the Aries equinox coming up. Uh, the zero point in this chart is the 23rd of March, and so we're looking for a, a, an upward move that corresponds almost exactly, so we're getting this as a confirming factor in terms of the direction uh, with the, the S&P. Uh, then, of course, we want to take a look at Bitcoin, as you uh, mentioned before the break. There's always a lot of interest there, and it's an amazingly uh, volatile market, but we've also discovered an amazingly predictable market if we look at the right uh, astrological factors. Uh, this is our chart uh, here uh, for Bitcoin, uh, and uh, you know, the, the, uh, over the last uh, few months here, what we have on the chart are planetary price lines. We mentioned those in conjunction with the, uh, uh, the GAN course. Um, the uh, super trading time machine course that we're uh, uh, just launching here um, and the planetary price lines involve the ability to put planetary positions over time on a trading chart so that we can use those as uh, our, uh, astrological indicators of support and resistance. And so uh, we've got here uh, kind of wavy lines in, in green. Those are, represent the positions of uh, the planet Venus. And then the more or less horizontal purple lines are the positions of the trans-Neptunian factor uh, Kronos. So this gives us a combination that's very, very powerful in terms terms of uh, defining support and resistance for Bitcoin. And this has been going on for quite some period of time now. And, and we're really amazed at, at how well this holds up. I think we've got, you know, let's see, the next slide should be a close up uh, there as, as well of that uh, dynamic. We kind of zoomed in a little bit to show you these support and resistance lines. And these are, are uh, you know, daily uh, price bars here for Bitcoin. Of course, we get enormous swings during the course of every trading day. And uh, sometimes it's quite astonishing to see the amount of volatility that is there on an, an intraday basis. Uh, but what this does is show us that trading range is well defined by these horizontal purple lines. Those uh, are the, are the uh, Kronos lines there. And uh, what we see is support level that we're looking at at 37,350, resistance at 41, uh, 41,850. Uh, and so uh, we've been trading just shy of 41,000 here during the last uh, uh, 24 hours or so. What I wanted to point out, though, is that we have this uh, uh, diagonal green line. That's a Venus line. And over the last couple of sessions, uh, uh, Bitcoin has moved from getting resistance on that Venus line to starting to form support there as well. And this is something that we you know, see using you know, conventional support and resistance lines uh, as well. But the same kind of thing can happen with the astrological factors. And what this indicates to us is that we've got confirmation of a potential breakout above that 41,850 level. Uh, so if we get a breakout above that level, that's a good confirmation. Our next target then becomes the 46,350 range. Uh, that heavier uh, purple line is a first harmonic uh, resistance line, and that will be a little bit harder to break. But right now we're looking for that confirmation to the upside uh, with that uh, breakout potential above 41,850. Uh, so that's uh, the price level that we're to keep an eye on in, in that market as, as well. Uh, then we've got uh, to a couple of quick charts here. Uh, the thing that we referenced earlier with the S&P, we also did a little bit of back testing with Bitcoin as well. The, the Aries Equinox, again, coming up uh, uh, on Sunday the 20th. Uh, that will be the, uh, the beginning of spring in the Northern Hemisphere, fall in the, the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, and then based on this, we're looking at a little bit of a delay. Notice that zero point in the middle there with the performance of Bitcoin around this particular occurrence. It happens every year. And Bitcoin tends to go into a, a more congested trading range. Now, of course, uh, you know, a congested trading range for Bitcoin can be swings of a couple thousand points, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's congestion in that market anyway. Uh, and so what happens is about uh, 11, 12 days after the event is when we have a potential for a breakout 
in doing our back testing here, we've identified uh, an optimum swing trade with Bitcoin would be to buy on Monday, the 28th of uh, of March, and then close that position on Friday, the 8th of uh, of April. Uh, that uh, doesn't count entire move upward, but it's the highest probability move. There's a 70% probability of that being successful. Uh, we like those kinds of odds. And here again, the average re return of, on that move in the past has been uh, almost 20%, 19.8% uh, there in the past. But again, uh, past performance doesn't guarantee future results, especially with Bitcoin, when you've got that, that kind of record. <laughs> hey. Tim, stay with us, please. We want to get some more information. We'll be right back with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, we're back talking with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, do you have a free webinar coming up by any chance? We do indeed. In fact, uh, we'll be offering that uh, tomorrow. We're doing a, a rare weekend uh, webinar on Saturday uh, this week. Uh, so we... Uh to uh, get... Oh dot ly slash tim larry p uh and what that does is get you on our list for notification on all of our webinars and so make sure that you uh, sign up there and so we'll send you the the link to get uh, connected with the webinar itself uh no charge for that and uh it, uh then we we do always try to record those sometimes the recordings works 
they don't. Uh, but uh, if you go ahead and sign up, we'll make sure you get the link to, to whatever is available after the fact. During that session, we'll be talking a good bit about WD GAN uh, in deference to the fact this uh, uh, Aries Equinox that we have coming up over the weekend uh, is a, an event that GAN gave a lot of attention to in his analysis. He worked a lot with calendar dates as well as astrological factors and, of course, market geometry. And there's some great combinations of all those in his work on uh, time and price in the markets. Uh, so if you're in, you know, looking at GAN techniques at all, this will be a great uh, a way of getting your feet wet in, in that arena and also a, a chance to learn about our new program here uh, that uh, really takes you to the next level with be, being able to uh, uh, find the times when price and time come together uh, primarily through the use of these planetary price lines. Uh, we've been working with those for a couple of decades now and are very, very in, impressed with the results that we get over and over again in terms of the accuracy of the pl planetary price lines uh, in, in determining support and resistance and in market forecasting. Well, great. Tim, uh, hopefully we'll have a good turnout for you tomorrow, and we're going to have you on in a few weeks. I can't thank you enough how much we enjoyed this, so please keep those cards and letters coming in because uh, uh, you have great work, buddy, and I, everybody here appreciates it. So you know, thanks well, thank for joining you. us today, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks, okay? And if something happens Always that you need pleasure. to come on before, let me know, and we'll, we'd love to put oh, you in. Okay, because, if uh, we get a sudden breakthrough, and sometimes we do, I'll, I'll give you okay. you'll be the first to know. <laughs> okay. Thank you so <laughs> much, folks. Tip. You bet. Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, folks. We'll see you next week. We have Paula Webb, Jim Marta Leone, and a couple of surprise guests that I think you're going to enjoy. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.